Alright, so this is going to be a demo of uh, my collaborative task list. So uh, here's the first page we see here, uh, the login screen. Um, press login. Login with our Google account information. Alright, so here's the page we see. Uh, on the left here you can see I've got a uh, task list that I've already created. Um, on the right we'll have where our group members will be displayed and uh, we have uh, who you're signed in as here. Um, so let's go ahead and create a task list. Click the plus sign and we'll call this demo. Let's press enter. There we've created our task list and I'm going to click on it here to select it. Alright, so you can see we have no, uh, no tasks. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and create a task. I'll click new task. So let's give it a name. Uh, how about finished demo? Uh, description here. Um, cover all aspects of website. We'll give it a due date. Click on the due date here. We get a calendar pop up. Uh, we'll make this due Monday. Uh, but I expect to finish it today. Um, and here we have the priority switcher. I uh, just slider, and I would say uh, with normal priority. I will give this one a high priority. I'll click create task. There we go. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and add a second task. I'll give this one just a name though. Um, how about just uh, uh, edit demo? So this will obviously be afterwards. Uh, so I won't worry about any of these other fields. I'll click create. And what we get is uh, the same uh, format only. Uh, you don't have all these extra fields, so to save space. Uh, so once we have our tasks uh, kind of set up here, uh, we can we can go in and edit them, clicking this little icon on the hover over, and I can edit any of the information here. Um, click cancel. I can delete the task from here and save it. We'll uh, write it back to data store. We'll click cancel. Um, so uh, we have uh, the ability to show or hide checked. Uh, click this. So we're showing check now. Uh, so let's check this. Let's check off edit demo. Let's say I finished edit demo. We get the check mark here. Um, now if I were to hide checked, it goes away. And if I click show checked again, it comes back. Um, we'll uncheck this real quick. Um, let's see. And I can sort these. Uh, and sort it. Let's go ahead and sort it by name. There. Now we have. Uh, obviously in alphabetical order, the name of the tasks. Um, let's go back to priority, that's kind of how I like it. Um, let's see, another one of the features here. Uh, if I were to click print list, we bring up a new page and uh, brings up the print dialog. I'm going to go ahead and uh, click cancel. Uh, this has been tested and it works just fine. So now I'm going to show you uh, kind of the heart and soul of this, which is uh, adding group members. Um, click this plus sign over here and get the little pop-up for adding a new group member. Um, you can see here you just add the uh, uh, email account and whether or not we want to send an email notification, which we definitely do. And this will also send a copy of the email notification uh, to the sender. Here I'm going to type in a, uh, a username and press enter. There, now we've added a user. And now I'm going to show you, I've got my uh, Gmail account open here. I'm going to show you what the, uh, what the email actually looks like. So here's the one that I ended up setting, sending. Um, it says, you've been added to task list demo uh, through to Lab, And then it also provides a link. Um, so I'm go ahead and get out of this here. Um, yeah, and in the rest of this demo, I will be showing off some of the collaborative features, um, as well as just uh, a couple more simple things like deleting and um, editing in real time. Okay, so now I'm going to be showing off uh, some of the collaborative part of this uh, to-do list, which is kind of the heart and soul of it. So, um, all right, so here we have our group, and uh, she's actually logged in now, and um, we'll be showing the real-time stuff in just a second here. Um, actually, we'll go ahead and show that now. So she's going to go ahead and create a task. And you can see I'm just sitting here, uh, not doing anything, and the task, you see, bam, pops up. And you can see uh, 
uh, who created it, and who was assigned to the task. Um, so you see here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, assign her to finishing the demo and editing it because I don't feel like doing anything. Uh, now, uh, let's say she finishes a task. Uh, we'll, we'll get this updated in real time too. Um, as soon as she goes ahead and clicks that, there we go. So the new task is being demoed. So we have real time collaboration. Um, and I believe she has deleted it. <laughs> so, um, okay. Uh, so now I'm going to show you kind of what it would look like if I were to delete. Uh, so I can grab her, <laughs> her name, drag her around, uh, hover over the trash icon. Um, so I can remove users from the list. I'm going to cancel. Um, I cannot remove myself from the list. And as far as removing the list goes, we get a warning. Uh, this will remove the uh, task list for all group members. And now I could do this, um, and then she won't be able to edit anymore. But I'm actually going to uh, have um, her delete the task, delete or remove me uh, from the task list. Uh, and we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, we'll see what happens here. Let's wait a second here. There we go. It's gone. I'm back to my home screen. I don't have it on the side anymore. Um, so kind of a stinky situation. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, create it real quick again, just so I can show you just a couple more features. Um, just renaming of the uh, task list name. Um, I guess that was the uh, last feature. So, uh, uh, yeah, so that's uh, that's my collaborative to-do list manager, and um, yeah, pretty cool. The end.